hi friends welcome back to laravel 8 tutorial in this video i will going to show you how to alter your table using migration so we already discussed about how to migrate your database or how to create a migration but today we will show you if we have created a table but i want to add some extra column in that table how we can do this through the migration okay so very simple so just go to the terminal so before that we need to show this is the env file of our application that is the laravel 8 and if you just go to the browser we can see this is the laravel 8 and here i want to create a simple table that is the block table so very first we will create a block table to my laravel 8 database and then we will add a column to that table okay so let's create a simple migration first so just closing the server and here write php artisan make migration okay so this is the command to create any migration and suppose my migration name is create block table right so just enter this so you can see a migration is created now if you just go to the visual studio code and here you can see inside the database we will get a new migration that is the create block table which we have just created so here i will add some column so basically the table id it is responsible to create any id and timestamp is responsible for two columns that is the created at and updated at and now i want to add my extra columns that is table so here i will add a string this will be the string type as we are using the column is title and next i will add a description so basically description is text type so we can add many things into this section so right here description as a text okay so for now these two column will add to this block table now run the migration php artisan migrate right so it's migrating and now if you just go to the database and refresh this we can see a new table is created that is the block table and you can see the title and description which we have created using this migration now i want to add the author name of the blog so i want to add a extra column into this table so how we can do this so let's create another migration suppose my migration name is that is the php artisan make migrate this is the migration creation comment and my migration name is suppose i am writing add author to block table right so i am writing simple name you can add your own name actually i am writing this name so that by this migration name we can understand which is happening with this migration okay right so now enter this sorry the spelling mistake so we don't need to write the migrate we need to write the migration okay migrate so and just enter this so migration is created now if you just go to the visual studio code and here you can see add another add author to block table right so this is the up and down so here we will write the alter syntax so how we can write this so you can see there is a schema section and there is the table and the table name is blog this is exactly same as the table name right and here we will add my column that is the table and suppose this will be the string type as we are writing simple author name so write author and this can be nullable null right so i am using null label so we can accept the null value also so i am adding this author column in the block table and in the down function we need to remove this author column from the table so how to write this so just write dollar table and here we'll write the drop column okay and the column name is author right so spelling mistake author right 
so if you check in our previous migration we can see in the up section we have just create and in the down section we are just deleting the full table but here i am going to alter this that's the reason we need to use this table so here we can use the create and here we are writing table and instead of dropping the full table we are just dropping the column right now just go to here and write php artisan migrate so just enter this so the migration column is altered so the migration is executed so if you just go to the database we can see the author is added to my database table right so in this way we can alter our table through the migration hope you understand this video and still if you have any confusion about this video please comment in a below comment section and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day